Uh, what are we taking? Personally, what do I like here? I like Dynamo, Ewit. Is there a good Fires deck here? There probably is. I kind of want to try Fires of Invention. No, I don't want to try Red Rocks me. Let's try it. It's the worst that can happen. All right. Oh. Is that the Yargle one? <laughs> Eating those clerics might have been a bad idea. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to go with Glenn here. <laughs> you were the blue white opponent ggs yeah my deck was my deck was not very good and yours yours looked very very nice god i want to take the augury i know it usually wheels but this card is sweet wolf Oh yeah, you may cast. <sighs> Maybe I'm taking Titan and Henge here now. Oh, oh god, why did I think I could take two cards? <laughs> For some reason I thought this was a Supreme Draft all of a sudden. What is up with my mind? <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, shake it off, streamer. What are you doing? Yeah, some ramp looks pretty good here, too. I like Tooth and Nail. I like the fetch. This, just doesn't, this doesn't even just say basic. You can just grab any forest, so I can grab, like, Stomping Ground. Tatiova's pretty nice with, like, Primeval. I might just take Incubation Druid here, though. Druid over stomping, I think, is fine. Ooh. Man, we had that really sweet uh, elf deck where Kinnon popped off. But I'm probably supposed to take one of the lands now. Take the band card. Yeah, Once Upon a Time is great. Kinnon is also a mana sync with fires. That's true. All right, I'm, I'm sold. Plow, Crag, or Finale. Could even, yeah. Hmm. Need a Garuda. Got nothing but even cards right now. Wow, you would wield. Damn. Elves is super open too. But we'll just easily take the Mystic now. Okay. I don't even know if we need this card anymore. It's probably going to be bad in our deck, if anything. Crop rotation in case I get, like, a uh, Cradle could be good. Oof is probably really solid, and Uro's fine, I would imagine, in this format. Eh, I just take stupid Uro. Damn. All right, see? This is Supreme Draft. I wanted to take the prime time and the henge, and we got them both. Okay, well, Tammy fuels our uh, Uro now, too. Pod? This is sorcery, right? Yeah, okay. Rex Sage is great, Edge of Autumn is great, Counter is probably good. Courser's good. Green's been very open. I mean, maybe I can take the Jace and wield a Courser. It's a nice little combo. Ooh, mama. <laughs> Opposition. They have the Ruined Slaver combo here, and they have Fast Bond. Disgusting. Opposition's probably a little bit too good. Just cultivate, maybe. 
Brazen, Branch Walker, Hydro Blast all seem fine. Kind of in for the uh, no interaction plan. Let's take the ramp. Crasis, oh, Epiphany, Growth Spiral, Metamorph. I don't think this is really the biggest Epiphany deck. <laughs> Man, is it bad that I want to just take Spiral here? All right, easy warp. Oh, we man, we have the time warp Jace Eternal Witness combo. Very nice. This is the Teamer Cube. No pesky black or white cards. Rob said Otis, thank you for the four month sub. And Discord, thank you for the six months. Need creatures for Henge? It's true, I do. I feel like we're probably tapping out a lot of the time. So I might just take Questing Beast here. Alright. Yeah, I mean Slime's great too, but I've taken zero lands. <laughs> probably a mistake. <sighs> Wall of Fours? Yeah, but if you look at my two drops, they all help go to four. Oh man, Mystic Snake Equilibrium. How good would that be? I guess that requires a lot of mana, but... Easy Elf. Over the Gyre. Yeah, easy, easy, easy. Nice. We definitely needed some more one-drops here. <clears throat> more as in any. What's up, Newton Meter? A hey, 74 month sub. Hello, friend. And Wash Tub Scout, thank you for the 19 months. Hi, everyone. Hope you're doing well and are taking care of yourselves, indeed. I would say ranked is more relevant for uh, Arena. There are actually quite a few bigger tournaments um, on Arena. All constructed. Ugh. God, I want the edge, but I think the courser is probably a little bit too good. The courser is the least replaceable effect. So somebody took the mind slaver. Well, well, well. Jokes on them, sucker. <laughs> Nice. Crisis is probably great. Let's be real. Crisis is a three drop. Because just think. Turn three, Crisis for one. Turn four, opposition. Hello. How does it work again? Well, you, pl you play, or you pay a blue, a green, and X. Where X is one. All right, we could probably just end the deck there and take nothing but lands in pack three, so. Let's see, I already passed a tropical island, a lumbering falls, and I think it was a hinterland harbor. Maybe it was botanical, but we passed a few. Uh, Blue-green lands, ooh, upheaval? People's so good. It's too good. All right, I have enough playables. I'm gonna take the Tarn. I don't have a blue-green land to fetch, but I have like Jace and Corsair. It's another card that goes to the yard for Uro. Did he just? It's not even speculation. It's still good in the deck without a blue-green. Right, but I have enough playables right now. We'd rather take the land. Then the, uh, what is it, Yavamaya Dryad, I think it's called. Don't you tempt me with this crap. I, I would never take that here. Cobra, Tracker, Control Magic's Dece. You guys like the Tracker? Ugh. 
I want the I want the cobra. I'm not listening to chat. I'm taking the cobra. All right, easy land. Oh yeah. God, Arbor Elf is fantastic too. Ah. If this was like a two drop ramp, I'd probably pass it, but I man, on one is just way too good, I think. Damn, isn't GT insane in this too? Ah! Is Kinnon actually bad in my deck? It doesn't work with Arbor Elf, it doesn't work with Cobra. It works with one, two, three. Yeah, Kinnon is actually bad in my deck. God, Garrick is so good here too. It's <sighs> Garrick has more synergy with the deck. Okay, I'm going for synergy here. Mm, Kinnon. Kinnon's getting better now. We have another creature. That's one, two, three, four now with it. I still think I want to be running 17. Oh my god. Ugh. Force of Vigor is an amazing sideboard card too. But man, more ramp is so tempty. Tempting. You can sideboard that. Man, now that I've picked up Nissa too, the Genesis wave is like <laughs> lightweight tempting. I think I can probably cut Uro. Is that crazy? I don't think it is. I agree with cutting Slime. Maybe the Ewit's not necessary. It's great with like Time Warp, but oh, it's really good with Upheaval too, but I don't think I need it. I might have too many big spells though. Man, even Edric doesn't seem bad. Oh uh, god. One, two, three, four. I have four creatures that work with Kinnon. Libel Intel with the 10 gifted subs. Congrats to anybody that just got gifted. We're the rogue opposition. El Marquis, thanks for paying it forward. Oh my gosh. Do I have enough types for Augury is the question. I'm going to have some creatures, some instants. No, no, sorry. Creatures and sorceries, really? Maybe a Planeswalker. Yeah, I guess Augury is probably not necessary. And I have enough top-end nonsense anyways. I think Genesis Wave is also just cute but unnecessary. One, two, three, four. I mean, maybe Kinnon gets back in the deck. Or even Edric is not bad. <laughs> no, I just don't have enough things to go to the yard for Uro unless my opponent's going to kill all my creatures. You know? Humanity! Thank you for the 25 month sub. Ringo the Bear, thank you for the 15 months. Slytherin 42, thank you for the 16, uh, 60, yeah, six months. I don't need 18 lands because look at all of my ones and twos. Every single one of my ones and twos um, ramps. Yeah, that's I was mentioning that. The Ewit is pretty nice with Time Warp and the, uh, the Jace. All right, I'll just bring in the Ewit, or sorry, yeah, the Ewit. Go like this. I'm still questioning the Kinnon and the Edric, though. And five. Yeah, it's still plenty. And we definitely need green more than we need blue. We don't need double blue till later. I could probably... 
I could probably go nine, six, and that would still give me 10 green sources. Okay, I'm gonna do that actually. Because a lot of our mana dorks don't produce blue. Get your goddamn OG power. Mm, we getting rocked, chat, and this is not a great hand for rocking. How did I get sideboard? Not much. Yikes. Nah, it's usually like, what, 20, 25 tickets or something? I'm thinking of the right format, right? Vintage Masters. A little bit concerned about what they're doing over there. Well, it feels like they're less red rocks me now that they haven't done anything turn two and they're also playing islands. I think I'm going to lead with Jace. I think this is my least relevant. Yep, that's fine. Annoying, but I think Garrick is more important here. The Breaker. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, I would like to hope they're out of counters, but you never know. I'm taking a lot of damage from this water logged. <sighs> okay, well, that's probably a good sign. That might have just been a double time walk. So the question is, what are the last two cards in their hand, you know? <laughs> Libel gifting a sub to Jasper. Tier two even. Thank you, sir. I don't know what happened there. Maybe they were off it. Maybe they were flooding. Very possible that the last two cards in their hand were lands, and because I plowed, they were just drawing, you know, another mountain for the turn anyways. How do I sleep soundly at night knowing he pays all of these actors? Look, actors deserve to be paid, doesn't do they not? Are you allowed to post clips? Sure, why not? Ah, oh, dude, why are you posting links? I mean, come on now. <laughs> Baited! You can repost it if you want to. Oh, you better repost it quick! Oh, <laughs> somebody redeemed a timeout on your face! Well, I lied. <laughs> Now you get in the timeout. Womp womp. I'm sorry, punk. Blame, uh, unknown. Yikes. <laughs> so I want to play forest out here because my plan next turn is to courser. If it resolves, hopefully play a land off the top. And then if I do, I get to paradise druid regardless of if it's an island on top or not. Because if I put the island out, and then I play Courser, and then I see an island on top, it's really awkward. Okay, we're going to start taking some damages here. Hmm. 
Do I want a lore or do I want a druid? <sighs> I guess I'd rather druid. I'm just thinking if I want to draw the Alendro. Not really in this scenario. But if they kill my Courser, I can like trade with the Bowmat, maybe if I want to. The real question is how risky is it to double block the Hellrider here? I think I like it. If they have to have like a four damage burn spell or a bounce. Oh, baby! Well, that feels good. Now they're probably just going to concede. Attack, concede. And there's another land on top. How fortunate. I like this play since the Nature's puts the land on the battlefield untapped, unlike Exploding Borders. Old school people will know that one. Exploding Borders puts land on the play tapped, okay? I take three. Why didn't they crack when I had the trigger of Courser on the stack, I wonder? They might have had a different card. To... No. They had a counter. They... Yeah, if they had a counter, they would have countered the Glen, right? Unless it was Force Spike, I suppose. All right. Good timing. Ads are about to run here. So quick commercial break. And then I will BRB. Damn. Damn, what a fantastic hand this is. Holy smokes. I think I'm going to play around a counter, which they, I guess, don't have. By leading with Garrick. <laughs> uh, alrighty. What does this do again? Nothing. This is why I watch it. <clears throat> YouTube. I don't... We saw nothing but islands. I don't think there's much sideboarding to go. Pirates and part-time fairies. Happy Tuesday, everybody. <laughs> I just wanted to link a clip. Oh, we're just trolling. It's Tuesday. Everybody needs a little troll on a Tuesday. Again! I think we have... Just the Arbor Elf and the uh, Vintorn, right? But we keep drawing them. Chaliche. Worst case scenario, I can ewit my Scalding Tarn next turn. That's annoying. Now hopefully there's a land underneath. Bop. Hunter 6778, thank you for the 16 month subins. M Shadows, thank you for the 32 months. Ah! Easy main phase. Easy hexproof. Easy lands. I guess I'm just going to go for the... Actually, no, I'm going to lead with time warp itself here. I could attack for two there, I'm not going to. Probably just level up Ballista. Oh, what is this? 
Shark. I like it. You know what? I think I'm okay with them. Playing land, leveling up Ballista, and killing both of my dorks. If they want to make that play. Okay. I mean, now we just go Jace, bounce the shark. And everything is Gucci, right? They know about the upheaval in my hand. Man, their hand must suck. I'm always stoked for new sets. <clears throat> new sets are oftentimes a nice reprieve from something that we've been doing for too long. I think top prime time is probably the better line because it sets me up for also upheavaling if I want to. Okay. Okay. The funny thing is they get to see all of the cards that I've drawn because of the Courser of Crew Fix. But, I mean, if they have one untapped mana, this is probably GG. Sure, two with the uh, construct. Um. Okay. I don't even think I sequenced that game very well, but they just didn't do anything. Uh, okay. I need a little help with this one. Another Terramander, huh? Three lands on top of my deck? I guess it's the truth. Four lands on the top of my deck! Alrighty then. At least Corsair got through one of them. God, how many counters do they have? I don't want to show them that I have the second blue yet. Wow! Oh wait, they only have two islands. Phew! <laughs> uh, I was gonna say... Mythos, copy Courser, reveal Mystic Sanctuary, get back Mythos would have been pretty funny. God, I, I kinda wanna just... Prime time here still. I'm gonna play the land first to play around four Spike. Oh, right. Baral. Haha. <laughs> oh, God. And now they draw Cryptic. Oh, we're dead. Good game. Yikes. Wow, so if I had just gone with Jace, oh, they wouldn't be able to flash freeze it? Oh! This is so gross, dude. 
What am I supposed to do? God, so gross. We're dead. They even played out their mana crypt? They have stuff to do? I guess they can level up Terramander, but they already had three. I don't even know what's going on. I'm just so dead. <laughs> and they still have Cryptic. <laughs> Alright. You win. You win, you win, you win. <laughs> there are a million counters in this format, yeah. I don't remember. Somebody counted... Uh, counted it when I was playing it last week and they said there's literally like 40 maybe not 40 but a ton 25 I don't remember the number was very large for a cube you know what? I'm gonna go 41 I'm a mad lad ah yes Kinnon and the Cobra the combo we were all dying for Oh, does the Arena Cube also have a million counters? It would make sense that there are more counters in this version since it's just three of the colors and not all of them, right? Teferi and either Gust milled. Blast Zone! And they ran out their crypt, huh? Is Mystic Confluence in this? Maybe it is. Why did they run out the uh, mana crypt is my question. Like, I might just want to activate Kinnon here. No, I mean, they didn't do anything last time I attacked, so let's just attack again. I'm going to play the Tarn out. I think pa pass. I guess I don't want to let them untap with the uh, zone, because if I do... When I fetch, they can respond to it. That's a pretty good hit. Okay. Hmm. Now we know they have Mythos. I wouldn't be surprised if they have some other steel effects. We're just going to pop the zone right now. Wow. Okay. Pretty good. It's one way to get out of the uh, last zone nonsense. Oh, Jesus. All right, Crypt. Darn it, you cheater. Excuse me. Metamorph? Mythos or something would be pretty sunny, silly. There's no reason for me not to block. They have Maze of Ith, so... <laughs> oh boy. How many lands? All right, just lose a crypt flip. How hard can that be? Good. <laughs> oh, the questing beast counters them? Well, I mean, it doesn't matter because they would just block with their questing beast anyways. Ay, ay, ay.
Get on arena. Arena? I did arena today. Played a little bit of the cube. Slime. I guess slime could have been nice for their, uh, uh, what do you call it? Maze. Busy hands! Thank you for the 16 month sub. I don't think I can keep this hand. Switch is way too slow. Okay, better. Turn one library. Perfectly draw the elf, easy. This resolves, I think I'm gonna poop out the log and then sack it with uh, untap Arbor Elf. Okay, that's pretty good. Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. I mean, I have two mana dorks, so I figured that was fine. Yeah, I'll just do it for full. Sure. I don't believe I had seen four spike. Kind of sucks that they had it. Ooh. Man, getting back Ewit is nice. Or sorry, getting back Hydroid Crisis is nice. All right. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this OP got all the counters. Yeah, just sucks that with the library, I mean, look how many more cards they've drawn from me. <sighs> Higby, thank you for the 37 months. One, two, three, four. Well, they'd be able to uptick their Terramander here end of, end of turn anyways. Mm. Slumbercat, thank you for the four month sub. Go, go, Mana Crypt! Damn it. Ah! <laughs> I don't have anything else that cares about graveyard rights since we lost our Ewit. Yeah, it doesn't matter. <sighs> I don't think they noticed that it's dealing damage. Ha <laughs> ha. 
God. Their deck is sweet, though, man. Just all the good counters and stuff. And, well, the library is really what's done it. But The good thing about Uro is that even if they maze the Uro, I still get the trigger. How many, how many copies, or how many uh, clones do they have? We saw Phantasmal and Metamorph, right? Hmm. Wait, what? What? Now they might just die to Crypt. Unless I'm missing something here. Oh, Jesus. That's good, too. Holy smokes, that's good. Barring nothing. Barring anything, this is lethal. Wow, 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 GG. LOL! Easy clap! Yeah, they definitely they definitely missed on that maze. Holy smokes. Oof! Omnirax, thank you for the six month sub.